Mr. President's speech clearly captures what we should be doing. Focus on sanctions, systems and processes, society and sustainability. Uh, basically, as you heard from that speech, we will be looking at uh, measures to diminish corruption, measures towards uh, reorientation of values, working with other agencies um, to diminish corruption, and of course focusing very closely on preventive measures. Uh, the President's speech, which is a call to action, uh, requires us to come up with policies and proposals for government uh, to implement towards diminishing corruption, especially in the public sector. So we intend to just do that. The sector is very big and it's very wide. Um, speaking for, for myself, I'm not coming in entirely green. Uh, up till today, as uh, I had been the Executive Secretary of the Presidential Advisory Committee Against Corruption, so I have a fair idea of what the, the basic issues are and um, what we need to be, to be doing. Uh, with ICPC, and given the kind of mandate that it has, um, you can look at the sanctions component, which is implementing the law itself towards uh, punishing infractions. So we will do that. There's an institution, it is not new. We will uh, motivate the staff. We will look at capacity building where we need to do that. We'll provide leadership and encouragement and uh, generally do our best to make sure that we implement the legislation. Uh, if you are looking at specific sectoral issue, I cannot answer and give you that until uh, we take a look and take stock at what, what is on the ground. But like I said, um, there are things and measures going on. We just hope to add value and to improve upon them in order to support not just uh, our own statutory mandate, but of course the, the program of the government itself. There are four key pillars when you are dealing with corruption. You have sanctions and enforcement. You have systems and processes. You have society itself, because the ecosystem can promote corruption. And then you have sustainability measures. Uh, you've got to be able to introduce measures that help to make sure it doesn't happen again. So the society component is very critical, because if everybody tolerates corruption and then looks the other way, or creates their own opportunities, then we're going to have a much more difficult task fighting corruption. But if corrupt, uh, society is totally abhorrent of, uh, of corruption, and they are willing to give us the support that we need, so there should be no pretensions about it that we can succeed without the impetus and the support of the society. It's, it's going to be like um, trying to uh, roll up the creek without a paddle. It's not going to work.